Hey guys, we're up here in Georgia today. Small town. You probably know it, you probably heard of it. Atlanta, that's right. We got some good stuff going on today. Let's go ahead and get this day started and Hey! Man! You, you, <laughs> she locked me out. Uh, let's get this started. Thanks for locking me out. Tight, tight turn over here. They got this little cul-de-sac down here, but this guy down there, he's like doing the old drop and hook deal. So I gotta wait for him to park so I can hit that cul-de-sac and get my door shut. I could turn, but I don't have enough room to turn out there. There's like a trailer right next to me. And these trucks are like right here on the basically on the street so give this guy a couple minutes and we'll get get on out of here well I'm tired of waiting I guess this guy uh come on come on Finally got all dropped and hooked and hooked up to the trailer and then he went inside. <laughs> so all right. So I guess we're gonna have to do this anyway. Oh well. Alright. Let's see if we can make it around here. Pretty tight. Not that I don't think there's enough room, but just trying to avoid doing this. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. You got enough room over there, Leia? We got good? We good? All right, cool. All right. Good stuff. load out. Ugh. Yeah, I know I gotta slide the tandems back a little bit, but Paperwork says forty thousand. I know it's it's got to be more than that, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna quite slide these tandems yet. There's a couple couple tight turns getting in here, so oh, naturally, look there he is. Uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, all the way back. Yeah, paperwork said forty thousand, but. We will see. I've never hauled carpet before, so. All right, all locked up. All right, cool. Let's go around it. Check on my lights one more time before we take off. I'm gonna get up to the Petro in Atlanta. Get it weighed. Everybody likes that place, right? You didn't lock me out again, did you? Oh, thank you. Du, 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 du. You're back. All right. Yeah, we gotta get over to the Petro, get weighed. This guy swears that, uh, 
nobody ever comes back so hopefully he did all right blinky blinky all right All flashing, all good. But I'll show you the, uh, show you getting out of here. <laughs> it's pretty tight. Love bugs everywhere. All right. going here in a second and we fill up the coffee mug and we'll get on out of here all right all right pre-trip is done off duty boom all right use the been using the big roads app for my ELD put the air back in my seat Alright, I like it. I like riding with the air down low, but getting out of these little sticky situations here is going to be interesting. When I came in like this street right here, like on the Garmin, it says no, no trucks. And I got to turn right to get back out. No trucks. And <laughs> when I was coming in, there was a cop over there and he followed me the whole way down. Man, you know, I don't know if he was... He probably knows there's no truck access, but you know, there's all these businesses over here, so he probably just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna run any shrubs or fire hydrants over. And uh, this, oh, what are we doing here? Come on, here we go. But like the first, turn off, this first turn, man, when I was coming in, Oh yeah, <laughs> pretty interesting. Look at these power lines, man. The power lines are like super low. Let's take it wide on this turn. I know, I know. Turn right, turn right. We got you. I know I'm saying about the turn, like, oh my gosh, but you know, that's what I was saying back there and it ended up being no big deal. Yeah, like if you keep going straight, you're in trouble. <laughs> Dead end that way. I don't know what goes that way. I don't want to find out. But, uh, Still got one more street. <laughs> what street is this one? Chattahoochee Avenue. There's like the Pepsi place over here. And I've picked up here a couple times when I was with Warner. And that's uh it's, it's interesting getting in and out of there. There's some heavy loads coming out of there, man. Like every load I had was. 44 or 45,000. Come on. I love the automatic. Here we go, this this guy in the black truck, man. I gotta turn. This will be interesting. You know someone's gonna not stop at the white line. Come on.
Come on. Come on, green light. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I said. <laughs> Look at this guy. You got to back up, dude. Thank you, man. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Still got one more tight turn. Getting some, getting the long lights today, man. No hurry, people. So we got to make it Indianapolis tomorrow morning, 8:30 sharp, which won't be a problem. Be a slow ride for a little while. But uh, yeah, we gotta get back on 75, well, 285 to 75 through Chattanooga, hit 24 through Mont Eagle. All right, heavy load Mont Eagle, can't wait. Um, yeah, there's a Pepsi place right there. Yeah, I've spent many of hours in those docks right there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we gotta through Mont Eagle, 24 through Nashville, 65 into Indianapolis, and make our delivery, which won't be a problem. I got like little less, little over a quarter of a tank right now. But uh, we'll probably wait until we get through Mont Eagle. Get, get weighed. Come on, automatic. There you go, baby. But after we get weighed, we'll see how much fuel we can get. So, like I said, the bill said forty thousand, and I'd be surprised if. It, I mean, it was like it said forty thousand exact. So I don't know. We'll see. That'd be, that'd be awesome if it was, but I doubt it. But, uh, see how much fuel we can get, so. But, uh, let's get on to Petro and, uh, talk to you guys just a little bit. Man, this place. Say a oh, my goodness, stop. We're good. Yard move complete. Man, how long have I been here? I swear, I think I've been here like over an hour. I was just talking to Adami on the phone. 52 minutes. I've been here. Golly, man. Yeah. Third time's a charm. That'd be on the scale three times. Gosh. They said they kept losing my ticket. 
I don't know, whatever. I don't know. I always look at the truck before I look at the, at the weight. That's a sweet truck, man. All right. So we're at 11,200, which is sweet, so I can get me some fuel. The drives are at 3,100, and the trailer was at 34,220. So we slid it back like three notches. Now we're at the 41 foot mark. Those are total, sorry, total, total, total 76,440. All right, all right, I got my little ticket. Golly, this place, man. Oh, I got someone behind me. Yard move. This thing is so touchy on moving. Double check and make sure the pins went out. This thing's a little bit different. It's got that air thing. I'm used to the warner where you pull the bar. See, remember, there used to be a bar here. Boom. Boom. All right, good stuff. Get out of here, man. Golly, an hour. Try to steal my seat lamp. <laughs> All basically starting my day. <laughs> Golly, man. Let's see if we can get out of this place. Uh oh. Don't lose your ticket. Yeah, that was a, of all drivers, <laughs> it was a Warner driver. He would, he'd come up to me when, on the, the second time I had to go get back on the scale, and he says, Hey, how do you use the scale? I said, how do you, how do you use the scale what? I didn't understand what he was trying to say. Then he he never used the scale. Basically, he was like, I'm new. So I said, just pull up and hit the button and let them do the rest. Except for me, you know, pull up, hit the button, and you got to go reweigh three times. But hopefully they get you on the first try. But uh, yeah, I didn't have my my app updated you know the way your truck app you know cat scale deal because you know now that i'm not with warner obviously they turned my card off so i gotta put my debit card onto the app so i don't have to do this crap anymore all right let's get on down the road and get some miles behind us
good morning. We are we're almost to our delivery. We've got about 18 miles. We're going to be a little bit early. We don't have to be there until 8.30. Just a little bit after 7 right now. We're going to cruise on over there. See if they'll take us early. It's going to a, it's one of these uh, convention center loads. So they said to be there at 8.30 sharp so we will see what happens you comfy you good you sleep good yeah good. she's ready to start the day too so uh, yeah we had to park way in the back here so we're gonna creep up front to the pumps go inside get us some coffee and uh Cruise on over. Finish this trip. So let's get on over there.
Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, he's guys, guys. 